How to protect your RV from mice and other rodents. Okay, I've already admitted I'm a pretty high maintenance river. Let's just say that I come from a long line of mouseophobes. Story alert, my mom and dad camped in a 28-foot travel trailer for decades. Dad knew that if mom ever saw a mouse, the party was over. One fateful day, a mouse dared to enter the campsite looking for a stray crumb. Mom spied it, and until the day he died, Dad would laugh about that mouse being a $100 mouse. It cost him $100 for the motel room that night and Mom wouldn't return to camp until Dad had completely demoused the town of Bridgeton, Maine. Story alert, ah. The joys of horse camping in my living quarter horse trailer. I arrived late one Friday and set my horse up for the night, chatted with some good friends, and headed back to my RV horse trailer for a good night's sleep. Those of you over 50 feel my pain when I admit that my old eyes miss a lot of detail these days. Well, I entered the living courts and tossed my keys on the counter in the dark. I heard a kind of strange crunch sound but headed for the potty to do my business. I turned the light on and saw a small something on the toilet lid, opened the cabinet to get a rag to wipe it up and bam. I was eye to eye with a mouseosaurus. I slept in my truck that night even though it was 28 degrees. P.S. I purchased a propane flamethrower to demouse my trailer. I'll let you know how it worked. Finding every crack and opening is tough. The method I have found that works best is to wait until after dark and have someone in the RV with a powerful flashlight. Have a second person with a can of bright colored spray paint underneath. Flashlight person goes into every cubby, along with the edge of the floor, poorly ceiling slide out, plumbing chases from below, windows, and behind everything with the flashlight. The person under the RV can spray a small dot of the paint everywhere they see the light. Flip a coin to see which person has to crawl back underneath tomorrow to plug all the nooks and crannies. Okay, on to more conventional ways to demouse or prevent said mouse from taking up residence in your home away from home. Steel will percent U2013 jam it into any nook or cranny you can find. Spray foam percent U2013 only use spray foam manufactured to be rodent proof. Typical house construction expansion foam is candy to mice. There are several brands to consider using. Copper mesh percent U2013 mice can really flatten themselves out to fit into tiny spaces, but this mesh will stop them in their tracks. It works for bats, birds, and rats too. Food percent U2013 they will go after any food left in an RV. They are not picky and will eat anything dropped on the floor, in your trash, or tucked neatly in your cabinets. Take all your food out if you're storing it away any period of time. Peppermint oil percent U2013 they say, whoever they are, that cotton balls soaked in peppermint oil will deter mice. I'm not a believer but feel free to try it. Story alert, I like the smell of peppermint, so I purchased some and used it to keep my RV smelling great and rodent-free one winter. Let's just say, it smelled good in the spring. Sound emitting devices percent U2013 I've used them and they worked for me. According to the ad for the product below, the repeller gets rid of animals through emitting a mixture of ultrasonic, adjustable ultrasonic wave frequencies, and powerful flashing LED strobe lights, and alarm. Get rid of cats, dogs, squirrels, deer, bears, birds, pigeons, woodpeckers, Seagulls, etc. Skunks, bats, rats, foxes, raccoons, mice, and much more. Story alert I built a new house a long time ago. The barn went up first so I could store my belongings in it. Mind you, the area to be protected only had three walls. I plugged that little plastic thing in. And I can happily report that not one box, a piece of furniture or clothing had any mouse damage. Mouse traps percent U2013. The mouse trap was invented in 1897 by James Henry Atkinson. So why reinvent the wheel? They have worked for more than a century without many improvements. So let's get back to basics, folks. They are cheap, effective, and you can buy them everywhere. I know, I know, it's cruel, gross, and whose job is it to empty them? Figure that out using rock, paper, scissors, shoot. 
I'll be out setting a few traps. Live catch mouse traps percent U2013 they do what they say. You have to figure out what you're going to do with them once you catch them. 5 gallon pail and sunflower seed trick percent U2013 for some reason, they cannot resist these contraptions. Fill a 5 gallon pail about two thirds full with water, layer sunflower seeds on the top of the water, create a gangplank from the floor to the lip of the bucket. Run, don't walk away because mice, squirrels, and chipmunks are going to line up for their turn as if someone was giving away free whoopie pies. I've also used the old fashioned Yankee version of that death trap. It consists of the same 5 gallon bucket, water, string, and a soda can be covered with peanut butter. String the cord through the can top to bottom, position the can over the top of the bucket and tape the cord to the sides of the bucket. Create a gangplank and walk away. The rodents climb the ramp, leap at the can, the can spins when they land on it, they go swimming. I think the seed version is easier. The only problem is that you can't dump the used water and seeds near your camper or you'll invite more furry friends. Story alert, New England is overrun with small rodents this year. They say it was due to a bumper acorn crop last year. I don't care what the reason is, it's gross. One stretch of the road to my farmhouse had over 100 dead squirrels in six hours, according to the DPW crew of One Mike. I declared war, rodenticide, whatever you want to call it. I set up my pail, added the water, dumped the seeds, and created a very handy gangplank. I wasn't even back in the house and heard something. I turned around just in time to see a flying squirrel do a swan dive into the bucket. 24 hours later, I observed 11 moments of silence for the dumb ones that followed that first squirrel. Last resort percent U2013 when all else fails, call a pest professional. They will do all the above for you if you're too queasy about it. For most RV owners, it's worth the price not to have to crawl around or deal with the aftermath. Don't forget to like. Share and subscribe.